round of the 1994 European Rallycross Championship took the teams to France and here it was vital that Jean-Luc Pallier was able to perform in fine style. The Citroën Santia had been getting ever quicker and he looked set perhaps to win the Division 2A final. The ERA Cup though was once again proving to be plenty of fun. Peter Nielsen's Metro tried to lead at the first corner and offer a bit of contact with Susan Bergwell's Citroën. It did! Rudy Laubers was in fourth place with his Peugeot 205 but muscling his way through up into second place in the Suzuki Swift was Ruud Verkoyen. Nielsen's Metro easily able to stretch its legs on the opening lap with the Suzuki Swift chasing hard. The Suzuki Swift though has had years of development in Group N, the Metro hasn't and that meant that Ruud Verkoyen knew he was going to be able to bring that gap down. Nielsen knew it as well and pressed on as best he could. Soon though, that gap did come down. The Metro continued to lead the Danish driver behind the wheel, but chasing him hard now was Ruud Verkoyen. The Dutchman with the Suzuki Swift GTI was pressing hard, and it wouldn't take him long to find a way up alongside and charge past into the lead. Nielsen was pushed down into second place, but would slip further down the field yet. Up behind him, Rudy Lauvers, the Belgian driver with the Peugeot 205, but at the chequered flag, Verkoyen would win, loud as it would be, he would take second place. Susan Bergwald took third, and Nielsen a dejected fourth. The Metro had served notice of its promise, but it just wasn't quick enough on the day. <laughs> Division 1 and Division 2 had, as ever, proved to be very exciting. This, the Division 1 A final, with Richard Hutton's green and white escort on the front row of the grid. He didn't need to repeat his amazing C, B and A final performance from Portugal here. He did need to win. And Ivan Oppland were on board with makes a good start. Up through the gears. Past him goes the Toyota there. There's a bit of contact. Oppland squeals his way through the first complex of corners. It's Bet Leinemann, the German driver in the lead as Nick Jones' escort goes off in the background. Leinemann then up front in second place and chasing hard is Richard Hutton. Now can Hutton find a way up onto terms with the German driver? Leinemann yet to win in the series this year, but he has been very consistent and they're a tap in the tail of the Toyota. Ivan Oppler leaving his braking desperately late and making contact there with Gundas fans Toyota. He's still in third place. Oppler is in fourth and on board now with Oppler. Runner-up in Division 1 last year. The Nissan Sun is still a quick car, but it certainly seems this year as though it's relatively underpowered and outpaced compared to the Ford Escort, which really is being able to rule the route in Division 1. Opland there, throwing the car around, tucked right up behind Gundus van. Opland, the man who started his rally crossing career in a Volvo, so he's certainly gone from one extreme to the other. The big Volvo dispensed with, now using the very small Nissan, and Hutton has closed right up onto the tail of the German driver, Bert Leinemann, as they drop down the hill. Hutton right up behind him, looking for a tighter exit there from the right-hander. He's on the loose, he's now back on the tarmac. Still Leinemann leads, and Hutton now falling away in second place. Third and fourth remain in the order of Svan ahead of Opland as their Hutton uses the kerb on the inside of the road. Right up behind Ivan Opland now is Jos Kuipers and past him he goes. Opland's got a problem. He's able to recover. Up again he goes, but he's lost a place and that's going to be very difficult now to take back again. That lineman certainly extending his advantage over Hutton at the front of the field. Now Gunder Svan is the man in third place with the Toyota and it rather looks as though the former skiing champion is closing on Englishman Hutton. Up though to the chequered flag, Bert Leinemann wins for the first time this season. He wins in France with Richard Hutton being second, third is Fan, fourth Jos Kuipers and Ivan Oppland makes it home in fifth position. A good entertaining race, but a very good race indeed for Bert Leinemann. He now leads the championship with Gunders Fan an amazing second. Richard Hutton third ahead of Ludwig Hunsbett with Jos Kuipers and Peter Kramer completing the top six three rounds in. So the consistent German, Bert Leinemann, wins for the first time in 1994. Surely it won't be his only win. So from the Division 1 cars, we move on to Division 2, and the French crowd all be rooting for Jean-Luc Pallier. The Citroën Santia is on the second row of the grid. It's been getting quicker, race by race. Can he win here on his own home ground? The front row is Kenneth Hansen and Martin Schanker. The lights are about to go from red to green, and the Division 2 A final will be blast off. The engine notes rise, the Citroen and the Escort get away well, but look at the Santia go from the second row. Pallier absolutely flies through into the lead. There's contact between Hansen and Shankar, both of them bouncing across the road, and Hansen spins. Hansen spins off. Maybe he was pushed there by Shankar, but certainly the two met in the middle, and it's Hansen, the championship leader, who has come off worse. 
Jean-Luc Pallier, the reigning European Rallycross champion with the new total back Citroën Zantia, is absolutely flying. Martin Shanker is in second place, third is Barry Scrimp, fourth and fifth, Tommy Christofferson and Per Eklund, and Kenneth Hansen rejoins the subdued and very dejected sixth. Pallier on the limit as he throws the car out of the hairpin. Martin Shanker chasing after him in second place with a Ford Escort RS2000. It rather looks now as though Shanker is just too far back to do anything about the Citroën. Barry Squibb is third, and Squibb not letting Shanker get away, or is he? Squibb slows, he's got a problem. Squibb has got a problem, he's now got Eklund and Hansen right up behind him, he's got a puncture. That's the problem, it seems. Barry Squibb in trouble. Past him goes Eklund, and now Kenneth Hansen is right up behind the Torquay Hotelier. He's shredding bodywork from that front balance. Kenneth Hansen, Citroën ZX, right up behind Squibb. But Jean-Luc Pallier is all on his own. He touches the kerb as he goes through this tight little brigade at the start of the lap. Martin Shanker chasing after him. The Escort RS2000 showing a better turn of speed this year and also greater reliability in Shanker's hands. And Mr Rallycross, multiple European champion, is on the limit chasing after the Frenchman. The gap's coming down, but catching is one thing here in the French circuit. Passing is quite another. Even if Shanker can get right up behind the rear wing of the Zantia, he's then with the real problem of finding a way past. Jean-Luc Pallier looks as though he's going to win. He comes through now. Shanker chasing after him with one more lap to run. The Escort's right up behind the Citroën. Now what can the Norwegian driver, Martin Shanker, do to get the lead away from Pallier? They touch the curb. They accelerate now away. The French crowd all cheering for Pallier, who closes the door there very defensively. Keep Shanker at bay. The car's very evenly matched. Despite the early pace of the Zantia, Shanker is having a go, he's round the outside, surely that's not going to work, it doesn't, there's contact, he tries to come in tight, the Zantia barges its way back through into the lead, and Martin Shanker is pushed back into second place, you certainly can't deny that Shanker is trying. Jean-Luc Pallier then is going to win, and Martin Shanker has given it his best shot, but he finishes in second place after a very good A-final. Citroëns continue to dominate Division 2, and it's Kenneth Hansen, despite finishing well down here, who leads the championship with Eklund second, Allier third, Squibb, Shanker, and Tommy Christofferson round out the top six at the moment. And Jean-Luc Pallier has certainly given his fans the present they wanted in this third round of the European Rallycross Championship. He's won for the first time this year, and he's given the Zantia its first European win.